Cora TV. The world is thinking. So, if you think about it this way, you see that the Earth is really cold right now, and it's very unusually uh, chilly. And so you might ask yourself, oh, gee, maybe a little global warming would be just the thing. Uh, and so that's a good question. I mean, I think it really needs to be, be addressed. So what is wrong with global warming, really? And the answer, though, is fairly simple. The answer is it's happening way too fast. It's happening shockingly fast. It's not being warm or being cold that kills off animals and plants. It's the, really the change in temperature. If the temperature changes faster than they're able to adapt to, that's the problem. And this is the scariest graph of all, as far as I'm concerned. This is a graph of carbon dioxide concentration in the Earth's atmosphere over the last few ice ages. The carbon dioxide really closely tracks the temperature. Unfortunately, I don't have both graphs here, the temperature and the carbon dioxide, but they really match. And so the last ice age was, uh, was, was here, and then the ice age before that. And you can see that the amount of carbon dioxide during this whole period of ice ages has been oscillating in this, in this band here until 1860, when it shot up almost vertically and is now about, well, it's, it's significantly higher than any, any of this uh, recent history. And that's because of the uh, man-made carbon dioxide. And you really need to zoom in to this little last thousand years to begin to appreciate how, how, it's, how it's shot up. It's really just shot up in the last 150 years. So what's happening is that we have this period of ice ages alternating with warm spells for quite a, quite a while, and then wham, right now, things are completely changing. It's a whole new ball game. So what's happening is that species of lots of animals and plants are trying to stay in the temperature zones that they're used to. And so the ones north of the equator are all moving north. They've done a survey of about 1,500 species, and they found that on average, since uh, 1950, they've been moving north six kilometers per decade, or about 10 miles per decade. So about a mile a year, animals are moving and plants are moving north. Of course, that's pretty tough for plants to move that fast, if you think about it. But the, I mean, well, you know, they die on one end of their habitat. They start to grow on the other end. But the real problem is they can't keep up because since 1975, the actual temperature bands have been moving much faster than that. The temperature, that is, if you keep a line of constant, of equal temperature and see how it marches north as things warm up, they've been moving north at four kilometers per year or about... I guess that means six miles a year. So, so, so there's no way that most animal and plant species can move that fast, especially, of course, you have to imagine that at the same time you have people with like cookie cutters ripping away their habitat all over the place, making it harder for them to move around. I don't know if anyone's even mentioned the idea of building a wall between us and Mexico and how that will affect the flow of, of animal life. I don't think they're planning to let the animals through. Um, and you see, this is just the beginning. So this is, I'm talking about now, but you see, that's, we've, we've seen this one degree warming since 1900, roughly, or about 0.8 degrees, but that's just the beginning. Here are all sorts of different people's projections for what's going to happen in the future, but you can see, even though the more uh, conservative ones, uh, would be suggesting about two degrees more warming in the next century, or possibly quite a bit more, like five. So what we've seen is climate moving along, and then, whoom, something happening much faster than life forms can adapt to. That's the problem with global warming, from the point of view of, of, of uh, the ecosystem, as opposed to just people.